Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is a super fun video because I am completely blitzing, cleaning, organizing, redoing my master bathroom. Um, no, there's not really any like renovation involved here, but um, I'm doing a ton of organizing. So if that's your jam, let's go ahead. I started by removing the shower curtain and putting it in the washing machine. It had gotten kind of nasty. I really don't do want to put like a glass shower door on this, but we'll do that when the budget <laughs> is comes for it. I then put some Drano down the um, shower drain so that it would have some time to do its magic and then I put some toilet cleaner in the toilet bowl um, so that that could soak for a minute then I moved on to the shower and I pulled everything out of our shower caddy and then um, put it to the side so I could organize and go through it later and then I finally scrubbed the toilet which was um more needed than I realized, I think. <laughs> then I started to scrub the shower. There were a lot of, you know, soap spots and um, just kind of gross spots that really needed to be cleaned up. So I just used a regular kitchen sponge and I scrubbed this um, with some soap and water. And then I did use a little bit of scrubbing bubbles when I had some really tough grime as well. And that was super helpful. After that, I moved on to the toilet. I just sprayed this down with some Windex using a rag and just kind of clean up, cleaned up around the actual toilet. Um, this is always the worst part of cleaning the bathroom. I think we all know this because no matter what, it's a little gross. <laughs> so yeah, clean to the toilet, a necessity. Then I went ahead and took out the trash and started taking everything off of the countertops and out of the drawers. I used these Disney park bags I had available with me to kind of just put everything in so I could store it away for a little while while I cleaned the countertops and the mirrors. I really think a huge important part of reorganizing is just getting everything completely out of this space so your brain has an opportunity to reimagine how you can organize everything in a better or more useful way so that's definitely a tip if you're trying to reorganize just remove everything out of the space before you try and start the reorganization process then I went through and cleaned off the mirror, which also really needed it more than I realized. And I cleaned the countertop as well um, and the sink, which obviously was really important. I did some minor sweeping just because there was a decent amount of stuff. Um, I sweep again later after everything is clean, but I just kind of did a quick little round because I felt like a lot of stuff was getting stuck on my feet. So uh, pro tip, don't do this barefoot because it is kind of gross. I would highly recommend wearing socks or some slides for a project like this. Then I got this little organizer from TJ Maxx. It was the perfect size to fit next to our sink. So I brought that in and I started cleaning out the drawers. And I also bought a bunch of plastic drawer organizers from Home Goods. Um, and I really felt like this helped me organize the space a lot more. The only thing is that I will say the adhesive that was on the packaging for it was so hard to get off the plastic. And I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I hate when you can like see the streaks of adhesive residue. That bothers me a ton. So I had to spend a decent amount of time kind of getting all of that off of each of the plastic bins. Um, I think at one point I did get frustrated and I skipped over a couple of them. <laughs> So then I just started organizing this drawer that is right to our right when we're standing at the sink. This is kind of the most easy access drawer in my opinion. So I wanted to make sure that our daily essentials were in there. So I used a smaller um, plastic bin inside the larger one to organize our floss picks 
and our um, Q-tips. I also put our toothpaste right next to it because obviously that's something that we need to access to multiple times a day. I tried to fit Brendan's hairbrush in there, but it did not quite fit. So I added the Q-tips in and I'll find a new place for Brendan's hairbrush. I will say a lot of organizing I feel like is just trial and error, seeing what fits where and how your groupings can fit together in different spaces. So then I moved over to the top drawer, which is I think the second easiest access drawer in our um, bathroom. And this is where I kind of made Brendan's drawer. Um, so he's got his deodorant, his cologne, his body spray all in there along with his hairbrush. Um, and then I moved down one drawer because I also wanted to make sure I was using the plastic bins kind of everywhere I really needed them. So I kind of spaced them out here. You can see I'm trying desperately to remove that stupid tag on this plastic bin. It was so frustrating. I even used some of the Windex to see if it would loosen it up a little bit because it was frustrating me so much. So I decided to make the second drawer down sort of my skincare drawer. I wanted most of my stuff to be all kind of in the same area so I could open my skincare drawer and just leave it open while I go through my skincare for the evening or the morning um, and just kind of do everything all at once. Um, so this took a lot of kind of rearranging to get it how I wanted. Um, but again, like I said, that's what organizing is. It's a lot of arranging and rearranging and trying again, figuring out the best way to store everything in the space you have available. Next up, I moved to the third and fourth drawers, and I really wanted to figure out what I wanted to fit in these drawers. So I decided to put some tampons in this little bin at the bottom, and then I put some backstock of shampoo and conditioner in the bottom drawer as well. I figured that would be a nice place to have it um, in case, you know, I run out while I'm in the shower. It won't be too difficult to grab, and that way it's not taking up space inside my shower because I do feel like we have limited space in there. Then I use this sort of taller bin to organize my self tan mitt and self tan um, like products. And again, you can see me struggling with the stupid home goods adhesive. <laughs> this is a very common theme in this video. So I stored my tanning stuff in there, easy access, but third drawer down because it's not super high priority in my opinion. Then I was looking through my hair care thinking I could fit it into one of those small drawers and I don't know why I thought that even for a second because I have a lot of hair care products. So I dumped all those out and put the bin back in and then I started to go through and see what I really needed in my bathroom because I don't you know, style my hair super crazy every day. So I just wanted to make sure that I was narrowing it down to just the essentials. So I kind of chose my scalp scrub, which I use once a week in the shower or once every other week, sorry. My scalp um, like serum that I use once every other week. I also put my blow dry cream, which I use pretty much every time I get in the shower um, or out of the shower, I should say. I put my leave-in conditioner in there. I put some heat protectant in there. Um, and then obviously I put like some hairspray and mousse and stuff that I do need to um, style my hair. And then I put a lot of back stock in our guest bathroom just so it wasn't clogging up the space that I need here readily available in my main you know, bathroom slash getting ready area. Then I tidied up all of my hair tools and I put those in that same drawer right next to the hair products so everything is nice and concise in one spot which is super helpful and then i put my brushes down there um, and some lotion as well and then i decided to use the top drawer for my deodorant my perfume and my contacts and that was a really perfect spot for it super easy access to essentials that i need daily or multiple times a day then I had all this stuff that ended up in the sink that I was trying to organize through. So I put our toothbrush holder back and I put our toothbrushes in there. Then I took the label off of the soap that we have just to make it look a little bit cleaner and nicer. And I put my face wash that has a pump so it can't really go in um, a drawer right next to it. And then I started to organize everything that was in the sink 
into these kind of smaller bins I have laid out. So I had, you know, a hair clips one, one for hair ties. I was sectioning things out based on travel size or if it's skincare or, you know, hair scrunchies. Just trying to get an idea of everything I have so that I can decide what's most important in this space um, and make room for that. Once again, I'm struggling with the stupid stickers. I told you it was a theme in this video. Then I had this bag that was kind of filled with stuff I wanted to put in the bathroom that I'd collected from downstairs. I got this really cute little dish at Home Goods and I bought um, a diffuser to go on it. I figured it would be nice to have something that can continually just help the bathroom smell a little fresher. So I definitely feel like getting a diffuser was the right call here. I don't know where I went. Apparently I left the room. There we go. I was probably trying to unplug. Oh, I remember. I was trying to unplug the diffuser because it had like a rubber cork and um, I couldn't get it out. So I used my teeth and I definitely got some in my mouth and it tasted awful. So um, do not recommend trying to pull open a diffuser top with your teeth. Then I had these bath or sorry, shower bombs from basin at disney springs and i figured those would look nice next to the diffuser and also if i feel like i need one of them because they have ones for energy or you know allergy slash congestion clearing or calming i figured i would have those next to the shower and then anytime i want one i can just pull it off pop it in the shower with me and i'm good to go so then I was just slowly adding some things that had kind of gotten organized as I was going through the stuff in the sink into their little homes um, in these drawers here. So I continued organizing some of the skincare that I had. Um, I put my glasses in the top drawer so they'd be super easy access and I'd always know where they are. I put some clippers in that little mini um, container and stored those for easy access as well and just continued refining and deciding what needs to be um, you know in easy to access real estate versus what could go lower down in the totem pole essentially so continued working through that I feel like it's just like a huge mind puzzle figuring out where you want to put everything in a new organization project but honestly I like it it just is almost soothing in a way to kind of rearrange and figure out where the best spot for every item is. I ended up making the third drawer down more of a skincare focused drawer, but um, I put my essentials in this second drawer, stuff that I'm reaching for, you know, once a week or daily or multiple times daily. And then the third drawer down was kind of more my maybe once a month or special use products that I don't need in here as often. So I added some cotton rounds for my toner into the third or into the second drawer. And then I had some wipes and leftover cotton rounds that I ended up putting in the bottom drawer so I could access them easily to replenish my stock in the upper drawers. Then I decided to just style this little side, you know, cabinet area a little nicely. So I have this little glass jar from my Nana and I put some hair ties in there just so those would be easy access as well because you know we always need hair ties. Um, especially because I pull my hair back a lot whenever I'm washing my face. So that's part of my daily routine. And then I kept finding all of these hair ties and bobby pins. So I made another little bin for that and put that in the top drawer so I would have some easy access to those as well. And once again, just continuing to reorganize. Next up, I cleaned off our shower caddy and then I rehung that up and started to restock from everything that I pulled out of it. But when I restocked, I was sure to only have one of each item. So instead of having two half empty shampoos, I just put one of them in. Then when I finish it, I can put the other one in there because I just felt like there wasn't a ton of real estate in here. So I needed to be kind of selective about what I chose to put in here. Our shower head is also kind of a big blocky one, so it makes it a little bit difficult to access the stuff on the top shelf of our shower rack. So I had to be mindful of that when putting everything back in. So I have a shaving cream and a shaving oil. Um, I do use both of those for different reasons. So there is a valid reason for both of those to be in there. 
some shampoo, conditioner, face wash, body wash, a hair mask, Brendan and I's loofahs, my body sponge, um, and of course my razors as well. And then once again, I'm just kind of arranging and rearranging according to what makes the most sense. And we're nearing the end here. It was time to sweep and get the floors all nice and clean. So I shook out the little rug that stands out that sits outside of our shower. And then I decided to sweep up the bathroom. And oh my gosh, it is so crazy how gross bathrooms can get. Like, I know it's probably the room you'd expect to get gross in your house, but still, I feel like there was a ton of dirt in there for such a tiny little bathroom. So after that, I went ahead and Swiffered as well, just to polish the floors and make them look really nice and shiny. I feel like this also helped me get up any dirt that the um, sweeping job missed. So I feel like that's always a necessity. And I also Swiffered inside the shower floor as well. And then there were a couple spots that were really grimy, so I used the Swiffer pad to kind of scrub uh, you know, with my hand and make sure that it was good to go. And then I tiptoed across the floor best I could. And I put the rug back after the Swiffer had dried. By this time, the shower curtain was ready from the dryer. So I went ahead and put all the hooks on there and hung the shower curtain back up. And this is the finished product. I'm so happy that I did this. I feel like I can find everything. And it just feels like this space is calming and good for like cleansing and decompressing now, which is amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and hit that big red subscribe button down below to come hang out with me more on the channel. My Instagram will be down in the description bar below as well. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Please enjoy looking at these super organized drawers. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.